Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, we're going to take a look at some of our collapsible bow staves and actually put them to the test a little bit. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, and then check out KarateMart.com to see all of our awesome weapons, that would be great. Now this is one of my favorite products, and it's actually extremely popular with our customers. And I think the reason why is because so many martial artists realize that bow stabs are just a bulky weapon to carry. And this kind of takes care of that problem by making it easy to collapse and easy to expand just by the flip of the wrist. So it's just such a great weapon. We started manufacturing it probably about eight years ago, and since then we've had a company called Combative manufacturing them for us. We actually have a few different versions. We have this guy, which is our original collapsible bow staff, which has actually gone through a bunch of changes over the years. So it's actually a really, really well thought out design um, where we've gotten rid of all the bugs at this point. We also have our metallic versions, which come in five foot and six foot. And this is a green one right here, but we have red, blue, black, silver, gold. We have a whole bunch of different ones. Um, and they're really nice because they actually catch the light really well, especially if you're in like a tournament or something. Um, it's just kind of nice, the glow that kind of comes off of your staff. So, so these have been really popular and these come in a one piece and a two piece version. But I just wanted to show you our two piece collapsible bow staff. That is this right here. And look how small this case is. I mean, that can fit anywhere. And if you look at it, it's just that small. You open it up and we've got two batons and then it's got this quick connect on the end. So it just connects that easily. It's secure, solid. If we want to shut it down, we just knock it down like that. And then it's nice and nice and solid. It's really nice. So you can open it up different ways, pull it apart. It's actually a really, really cool weapon. Um, but recently, a uh, factory overseas started uh, manufacturing a version of this. And we chose to just carry it as an economical version for our customers, because some of our customers don't want to uh, spend as much as these two-piece collapsibles cost. So this is the more economical version that uh, we just started carrying. And if you look at it, it's kind of similar. I mean, it's just, it's two batons, works about the same. And then when you want to turn it into a bow staff, you just kind of unscrew these ends here. And then we add this little center piece on there. Unscrew this guy. Okay. Screw that together. So it works about the same. I mean, it's uh, it's a little different, maybe a little bit slower, but it definitely definitely gives our customers an alternative to um, you know the ones that we manufacture in the U.S. Um, so that's definitely an option for you. But the question we always get about these is how strong are they really? And if you think about it, Classical Pro Staff has three sections. And we've got this section and it's all hardened steel. This section is going to be pretty strong because it's a pretty thick section. The center section is basically extremely strong, but then you've got this end tip and the end tip is going to be a little thinner. So you always have to kind of worry about, is that going to bend? But if you think about how a police baton is, um, they're meant for striking. So they actually can take, take some striking. Um, we're going to go and test that out. I'm actually going to test out the collapsible bow staff just by hitting the end of it on a watermelon as hard as I can, um, because I feel like that's a fairly, a fairly dense object in comparison to what you might be striking with it. What I wouldn't do is I wouldn't try taking one of these to a tree or a rock because something striking something that dense, that hard might actually bend the end. And if it bends, then it might not close as well. So I figure that if we test it out on something that's kind of similar to, uh, you know, bone and body, then it's probably a, a good thing to test. So let's go ahead and test it out. 
Okay, so we're gonna be starting with the original collapsible bow staff. And what I'm really gonna be focusing on is striking this end section against the watermelon to see if we can smash through the watermelon without damaging the bow staff. But make sure you don't try this at home because you could end up damaging your staff or hurting someone else in the process. Okay, so if you look at the watermelon, you can see that the collapsible bow staff cut cleanly through it, and there doesn't appear to be any damage to the staff itself. But let's just make sure it still functions okay. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so now I'm gonna test out the new lower priced version that we just began carrying. And again, I'm gonna to try to strike only the tip of the bow staff to see if it can take the force of slicing through the watermelon. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, so if we look at the watermelon, it looks like the new expandable bow staff sliced through it just fine, and there doesn't appear to be any damage on the bow staff itself. Let's just make sure it functions okay still. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, but make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel, and also check out KarateMar.com for all of the awesome items that we carry. Until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.